Hey everybody, Leducium here, and I'm playing an older game. Uh, it's called Star Wars Rebellion, so this is a game from back in 1998, uh, when it came out, I believe. And I used to play this as a wee teenager back in the old country of the U.S., I guess, I don't know. Anyways, uh, I'm getting off topic here. It's an older game, but it's out on Steam. I got it uh, at some point a while back, when it was part of a Humble Bundle, I think. Uh, and I used to enjoy playing this back in the day, so I thought I'd play it some more, and I thought I'd record it as I play it. So, I've actually played a few times recently before, uh, just trying to record a few episodes, and I would either script the volume or screw something else up. So, hopefully this time we'll have a much better experience, and hopefully the volume isn't too loud, and I got that right. So... Uh, what is this game, you may be wondering? Well, it's a strategy game. Uh, kind of a real-time strategy game, although you can slow it down. Uh, but it's more like, um, like a Paradox Grand Strategy game, except not exactly like it. It's a Grand Strategy light game. Um, I wouldn't call this a 4X game exactly because it doesn't have the same elements. Like when I think 4X, I think of Civilization. Uh, maybe a little Master of Orion, maybe a little bit of Endless Space. I don't know. It's hard to tell exactly. Uh, it's kind of in its own category to that regard. It's unique enough uh, where you can name games that it's similar to but not exactly like. Uh, anyways, so we can play as either the Rebellion or as the Empire. And we can play on a larger galaxy, a huge galaxy. We're going to play on a large galaxy. That'll take a little bit of time, but that's okay. We're going to play on intermediate difficulty, because I think at this point I should be able to handle it. Um, and we can play as the Empire or the Rebel Alliance. We're going to play as the Rebels. I still don't get why the Rebels are red and the Empire is green. Seems like it should be the other way around. But anyways, uh, when we start, there's going to be a cutscene that I'm going to skip just because I don't feel like getting this flagged. Hopefully the music here doesn't get me flagged. Uh, I tried to leave a little bit of music on, but I'll probably turn that down as uh, the series goes on. Also, there's going to be an explanation by C-3PO about what's going on in the game. Unfortunately, there's no way to skip that, so we're going to have to sit through it. It's about two or three minutes long. Uh, if, if you don't want to listen to it, feel free to skip it, but... Here we go, so... I am C-3PO Human Cyborg Relations, and this is my counterpart, R2-D2. We have prepared a report on the current state of the galaxy. As you can see on the galactic information display, the galaxy is in a state of turmoil. Our recent destruction of the Death Star has drawn many core systems to the Alliance cause. However, as you can see, many systems still remain loyal to the Empire. Several of the core systems are controlled by the Empire because the planets are garrisoned by Imperial troops. Those systems would join us, but the presence of Imperial troops makes that difficult. There are many systems along the rim of the galaxy which are little known to us or to the Empire. These systems would make excellent bases for our forces. We currently have two bases in the galactic rim. One of these bases is on the fourth moon of the planet Yavin, which you can see indicated here. This is the base from which our fighters launched to destroy the Death Star. I should point out to you that the Empire now knows that we have a base on Yavin. R2 has calculated the odds that the Empire will attack Yavin shortly at almost one to one. Perhaps we should evacuate that base. Our other base is here. This is the location of the Alliance headquarters. Alliance intelligence believes that the Empire does not know the location of our headquarters at this time. Fortunately, our headquarters can be transferred to another system if you feel that it is threatened. You should remember that the loss of our headquarters would be a terrible blow to the Alliance. I'm sure you recall the location of the Imperial capital here on Coruscant. This is the most significant system in the Empire. This is the location of Emperor Palpatine's palace. If we could take Coruscant, that would take us a long way toward defeating the Empire. Our fleet has been dispersed after the Battle of Yavin and is now outnumbered by the Imperial fleet. I suggest we begin a shipbuilding program to strengthen our fleet. There are also troops, fighters, and system defenses located with each of our bases, as well as some facilities located on the core systems which are loyal to us. The President of the Alliance, Mon Mothma, is located here with the Alliance headquarters. Intelligence indicates that the Empire has targeted her. 
the capture of the president would be a significant loss to the Alliance. Our sources also indicate that Imperial agents are searching for Luke Skywalker. We know that Master Luke's abilities with the Force will make him a prime target for the Empire. Losing Master Luke would mean that our best chance for victory would be lost. I'm sure I don't need to remind you about Emperor Palpatine and his evil henchman Darth Vader. They are the leadership of the Empire. If they could be captured, it would be a severe blow to the Empire. That ends my briefing. I hope you enjoyed it. We are ready for your orders. And might I add, good luck and may the Force be with you. Alright, well, thanks C-3PO. Now I'm going to shut you up, hopefully. So I'm going to turn off all these alerts. Otherwise, he talks non-stop and it's really, really annoying. So uh, that's the first priority that we have is to just shut him up. There we go. All right. So all the alerts are turned off. Now, up here we can pause the game, slow it down. Uh, if we pause, we can't do things. So, unfortunately, pausing doesn't help us. But we're going to put on very slow. And I'm going to explain what I'm doing, or try to explain what I'm doing as we play. Hopefully it makes sense, uh, and hopefully it's fun to watch. So, the red planets, or the red stars here, are planets that we control, as C-3PO mentioned. Uh, the green ones, the Empire controls, the blue ones um, are neutral, and the white ones here are unexplored, and most of the rim out here is unexplored. Um, so we're going to start off by taking a look at what we have available on each planet. So this is our kind of construction menu. We've got shipyards that can build ships. We've got training facilities that can train troops. This makes sense so far. Construction yards can build shipyards and training facilities. We also have mines that produce resources for us. We can see some of the stuff up here, how many resources we have and how many total uh, resources we can use to build things. And refineries kind of do the same thing. Um, then we have everybody kind of hanging out here and we have a few ships. We have one ship here, a Corvette. Okay, we'll get back to that stuff in a second. Actually, let's just take this. We're gonna take our ship, move it to this planet so we can explore it, start exploring the system. This is where our base is, and we have one construction yard here. Now, the blue bars here at the top represent how many more things we can build, and it's probably going to be hard to see this on YouTube because the resolution is going to be crap, um, but it does say energy consumption 6 out of 10. Unfortunately, this game is old, so there's no resolution options, and I can't really up the resolution or make this any better looking. I've tried playing around with different ways of recording this, but I seem to get the same results unfortunately so anyways we can build four more buildings here the red bars below it uh, indicates how many more mines we can build if we wanted to how many more resources are available I don't care about mines right now eventually we'll have enough planets where I don't think it'll matter um, and the red bar all the way across the top is the loyalty of the planet and as we can see from this planet it's fully red so they're fully loyal <laughs> We can see from some of these other planets, there's a little bit of green, which means they're a little loyal to the Empire, a little bit loyal to us. Anyways, what kind of ships do we have? We have a bunch of ships here. So you know what? We're going to create a fleet, a separate fleet out of all of these. And we're going to send each of these uh, to different planets here to quickly explore this system. And we also have this long-range probe that we're going to select and send on a mission to one of these other planets reconnaissance so we'll very quickly figure out what's going on in the system meanwhile we're going to take Mon Mothma and we're going to send her on a mission to this planet to recruit more people to join our cause so that's what she's going to do um, what I actually wanted to do and got distracted was build more construction yards here uh, because we want to be able to build things faster and the more construction yards you have the faster you can build and I'm checking to see if we have shields and planetary defenses as well. We do have a planetary shield, um, which prevents enemy fleets from bombarding our planet, which is good because that means they have to do a ground invasion. They can't just show up with ships, uh, kill all of our troops, and invade. They have to actually show up with troop transports and have more troops than we do in order to invade. So that makes it a little bit tougher to take over a planet, and that's what we're going to hope for. All right. Now, this planet here is fucked. Uh, there's no way of, uh, no better way of saying it because there's five 
Empire plan is here, only one of ours. We're not going to be able to do much here. But what we're going to do, ooh, we have Lando Carlissi, Car can't pronounce it, Calrissian, and this guy, I'm not even going to try with his name. We're going to move those guys over here for now um, because they're, there's no point in keeping them there. And we're going to move one of these army regiments over as well. And we're going to move this Y-Wing over because, again, we're just going to lose those things to the Empire once they decide to invade this planet. We do have a troop training facility and I am going to build a bunch of spies here though uh, because we want to use those spies and screw it, let's build like 20 of them. We're going to use all these spies to A, try to figure out what's going on in all of these surrounding planets, but I'm also going to take those spies and move them around all these other planets eventually. This planet is also screwed. And that's because this is right next to Coruscant and there's four Imperial planets here. So we're just checking to see what's over here and what I can move away so that I'm not just kind of throwing all this stuff uh, out for no reason. So I should be moving this stuff to probably better systems, but for now we'll just move everything there. Um, move this guy so we'll leave one troop there just to make it a little bit difficult uh, we're gonna move that ship though there's no point in that ship being there we're gonna move that ship to this system so that that's something that can happen there so this planet can't really construct anything so we're gonna leave it alone so these two systems I've pretty much already at this point given up to the Empire I, I know that they're gonna take those it's these two that I want to capture and these two that I want to colonize. So, um, this system, let's see what we were working with. We have one construction yard here. We're going to right away build a second one at least. Um, we've got some infiltrators, some army regiments, some X and Y wings. We've got a small fleet there. Here we have a shipyard and a very small fleet, Corvette. And no troops, no ground shields, just a little bit of defenses. So we're going to have to start building stuff up there. Here we've got a couple of ships. No real personnel, no real defenses, and a troop training facility. Well, with the troop training facility, I'm going to start building some infiltrators. Uh, and we do have a few already, but I'm going to build more. We're going to be using these infiltrators to sabotage uh, some of the Empire stuff so we can sabotage things like planetary defenses, planetary batteries, planetary shields. We can even sabotage troops and destroy regiments or fighters and we can even kidnap personnel so that makes it a lot easier for us. Personnel can actually capture our saboteurs so if we can kidnap or assassinate their personnel that makes our life a lot easier. I'm not sure what this does, that button, I just clicked on it. Anyways, uh, that's what we are going to try to do. Uh, so we are going to probably try to capture this system really quickly and then shift all of our resources up here. Now up here, let's figure out what we have. We have a shipyard and a construction yard. And we can build more stuff, but we don't have any planetary defenses. So that's going to be the very first thing I'm going to build because this is kind of a more vulnerable system. So we're going to build one planetary defense and we're going to start by building um, a couple of X-Wings, I guess, to really start off with. Uh, okay that'll have to do. Over here we can't build anything but we do have a planetary shield and we do have a couple of medium troop transports which unfortunately doesn't help us. We have some decent ships there. Okay and can we build things? We can't build anything. But we do have a long-range probe and infiltrators. Okay. Um, we're gonna just send the long-range probe out here because why not? It's going to take a while anyways. So that's stuff that's happened. All right. So we're, we are building stuff. Let's take a look at Yavin again. Nothing that we can build there. Everybody's here. So we're going to move people around in just a sec here. Um, we're going to go to this system. We're going to take Leia. We're going to move her to, oh, let's say over here on a I'm diplomatic on mission. Um, and the reason I'm taking Leia, and if I look at any of these characters, uh, we can see different characters have different stats. So this guy uh, has a diplomacy rating of 78, leadership of 87, and terrible combat and espionage rating. So I'm not sure exactly the difference between combat and leadership, 
Um, but espionage obviously helps us on espionage missions to find out kind of what the empire is building. And diplomacy helps us convert uh, worlds that are uh, neutral as well as make our own worlds like us more. Because if our own worlds start to hate us and they kind of slip way more into green, into the empire, um, then they might just flip and kick us out and go over to the empire. So we want to make sure our worlds like us as well. I'm going to take this guy, I'm going to send him to Mont Calamari. Again, I want to secure this system first, just so that I'm not surprised uh, here, and then I can shift my resources. Uh, Luke's got decent um, stuff as well, so we're going to send Luke out here somewhere. Uh, decent diplomacy. Right now, Han, Wedge, and Chewbacca all suck at diplomacy, but I am going to send him on a quick mission to Yavin. Okay, Chewbacca can't. Uh, I don't think Wedge can. I was going to say I'm going to send him on a recruiting mission. I am going to send these guys uh, to these planets for now. They can help work on uh, doing stuff out here. Hopefully espionage, or maybe I can attach them to a fleet and either the combat or leadership. One of those ratings helps uh, with the combat. All right, our fleet arrived somewhere, which is this world and that world. So now we're going to take our fleet, move it around, move it here. We want to explore all these planets. This planet, because it does have this red-green bar at the bottom, means it is populated, uh, which means we do want to send Mon Mothma there to try to convert them to our side uh, soon. The planet here, for example, that doesn't have a bar at the bottom means it's not populated, which means we can colonize it with troops if we had a troop transport, but unfortunately we don't. So right now all, the best we can do is just explore and eventually I'll send a troop transport to this system to colonize these planets. Okay, we've done a lot. Uh, so now... Yeah, everything's building, I believe. I'm just going to double check real quick. But if, as long as everything... Is, uh, okay, this planet can build stuff. So let's build. It's going to take... No, that's too long. That's too long. 128 days. It's crazy. Mm. Let's just build a couple of X-Wings. They're always useful until we can actually get some uh, more shipyards built and stuff. Okay, so everything here that can build is building. You know, one other thing we can do is we can start taking our saboteurs. And we know this planet does have a shield. So we're going to select multiple units. You can send more than one unit on a mission, and we're going to take these guys and we're going to send them on a mission. And what we can do is have one of these or two of these act as decoys for the main um, unit. And that increases our chances of success. I don't know what the statistics are, specifically how many you need to succeed against uh, how many units that are in the system. We don't know what the Empire has over here, but if we did, um, there's probably some math that's out there that I can look up that would tell me. But we're just going to play it by ear and see what happens. But we're going to try to sabotage crap. Uh, so we got some bot and spies that's just as they're built they're going to appear here. Uh, when I have a couple I'm going to start sending them one as a decoy, one as the actual spy. And we're going to try to spy out all these planets. Let's just make sure everything here that can be built is building. The answer is sure. Okay. So now we just wait um, and we're going to speed things up. Stuff's going to start happening fairly quickly and we're going to slow stuff down. Like our fleets arrived. We knew that was going to happen sooner or later. So we're going to start sending the fleet to other planets. And send you there. And send you there. Good. What else is happening? Okay, more spies. Okay, now we got to slow things down because, see, now I can't keep up. Um, spies we knew, infiltrators, uh, is complete. The target was destroyed. Sweet. So our saboteurs here, our infiltrators, sabotaged the uh, LNR series planetary defense, which will make taking over that planet a bit easier. Has bested us. Uh, I have failed. That's fine. I amaze even myself. Han was successful. Recruited a person. Great. Recommission successful. More spies. 
Okay, we're also going to delete all these messages because they just pile up and then it's hard to tell what's what. And our fleets arrived in various places. Uh, so we're going to keep moving our fleet around because we want to get all these planets explored. Whoop. Let's take a look at whom Han recruited. This guy. Terrible diplomacy. Decent espionage, decent combat, decent leadership. And Han, I believe, has bad diplomacy as well. Um, so what I'm going to do is try one more time to recruit. You got it. And can this guy recruit? No. So we're going to take this guy and we're going to move him to one of these planets. Because um, eventually I want to start attaching those guys to fleets. Now Mon Mothma, I could have her recruit again. But I think I'd rather send her to this planet on a diplomatic mission to try to convert them to our side. Do they have... They don't have anything that they can really do as far as building. Well, they have plenty of space to build things, so we will probably build a few shipyards there and use them as our shipyard planet. Okie dokie. Now, one of these ships actually has troops on it that we can use to colonize. And we should be doing that. I should have been doing that from the beginning. Or maybe none of these do. None of these? No, this is the medium transport, so it's got two sets of troops that we can use and we'll do that soon enough. I'm not too worried about missing the, out on that because um, we've got we've got plenty of time. Okay. Now that we've explored this system basically we will probably send most of these ships to these other systems so they can help fight uh, blah 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 fleets moving around good okay all right slow it down again there we go there's going to be a lot of speeding things up and slowing it down so you Empire keep trying has... spies deployed recon mission successful Re fail to recruit anyone okay one more time to recruit you got it mon moth my uh, in the pop-up was only there really quickly, but I told her even though she failed I told her to continue her diplomatic mission So I'm just gonna keep telling her to continue until she converts this world um, X-wing deployed Great, so now we've got a bunch of spies here and we're building more but We have at least this many at least five so I'm gonna take two Send them on a mission here. One's gonna be a decoy for the other and hopefully We'll find out something about that planet. Send these guys here. Same thing. One's a decoy. And as we get more spies, we'll send them out. I should point out that the uh, planet selection, as far as which planets you have, um, is randomized. So uh, it's always like five, four inner sectors and a bunch of outer sectors. Um, but whether the Empire controls them or the alliance controls them that's randomized every game except for coruscant coruscant's always in the same place and it's obviously always controlled by the empire but everything else is randomized so sometimes you have really good luck um sometimes you have really bad luck and it just depends uh this time around i think we have pretty good luck in where we're placed and where our planets are um so this guy is done we're gonna send it there i think this guy's still on the way over there good it's fine did these guys finish building they did so we got two more infiltrators but there's not much here that we can sabotage we can sabotage the construction yard but i think that's kind of hurting me because i want this planet but i also don't i'm going to sabotage the troop facility uh, and the reason is i don't want them training troops here but i do want the construction yard for myself so <laughs> basically and I don't really care about the troop training because we'll have plenty of troops in general. Um, I'd rather actually have more space freed up for another construction yard. So we're going to do that. Uh, it'll be fun. And then eventually I'm going to send all the saboteurs up to this system to work their magic over there. So more spies deployed. Fleet arrives at this planet. Clatoon. Clatoonie. Uh, unfortunately, or fortunately, this planet has a population already so we can't just colonize it so we're gonna go over here we're gonna drop troops out here because it's got a pretty good amount of blue bars we can use and maybe go to this planet and then maybe this one so we'll colonize kind of the better ones first in the system 
if we're working on some of the crappier ones. Um, this is almost done building, which is great. Now this this planet it has to have a planetary defense at least, and you have lots of X-wings, of course, lots of stuff here. Um, I'm going to take this long-range probe and I'm going to send it to one of these planets here because there's no reason not to. And we've explored this planet. It does have a colony or a population already, so we could send somebody up there to convert them. But the inner systems are more important, I feel. So we're going to work on those first. Uh, all right, let's speed things up a bit to medium. Okay, infiltrators deployed. Fleet arrived at Flex, which is this one. Boom. Moth and Spies, Our what's your... has been achieved. Good, okay. Units arrived somewhere. Fleet arrived somewhere. Okay, slow things down a bit. Uh, did our fleet arrive here? No, not yet. Both and spies. Our goal has been achieved. Okay, she's doing good. Uh, fleet arrived there, so we're just going to jump right there. Our fleets both arrived here. We're going to combine them into one. And you know what? I'm actually going to take these guys and send them over here. Because it's going to take a while for them to arrive, and we can actually check. If we look at their status, so day 73, we're on 36. Takes a while to move between systems. Um, but if I have enough ships here, and I think I will, hopefully one of them, I don't have a transporter. So I might pull a medium transport from one of these, which we had a couple. So create fleet, and I'm gonna move it down here. Um, what I'm trying to do is I want to uh, gather enough ships, ships uh, that I can uh, safely attack this planet. I think I, we can because it doesn't have any defenses, but uh, take it over and then hopefully win this system over uh, entirely. And Leia's on our way here. It's going to take her day 43, so very soon. Um, so hopefully we can just take that system over very quickly. This is going to be a slow process to convert these guys, but eventually we will. All right. All right, sabotage mission. Target was not destroyed. Boo. All right. Fleet arrived at Gamor. So we can take our troops, and if we move them onto the planet, we just colonize that planet, which is great. And then we can move over there. Okay, it was not successful. Um, what about you? You've arrived. You've arrived. Arrived. Uh, an Ari reconnaissance mission been foiled by our forces. Oh, an enemy reconnaissance mission. There you go. That's good. <laughs> good for us. Um, Talus was successful. So let's slow things down while we take a look at Talus. So we know what they're building here. We know what they have now. Uh, refinery, training facility wise. And this guy's on the way. We know what they have a whole bunch of regiments there. Yeah. Again, I'm not too worried about the system. I'd like to know more about it, but I'm not too worried about what's going on over there. So we got one construction yard deployed to Algerian and one deployed to Bothwai and some training facilities are available, uh, shipyards are available to build stuff so we'll, oops, we'll delete all these messages and now we'll go through these and figure out what we want to build next. So um, we're gonna build oops, destination Gamor, we're gonna build Gamma can be our shipyard. Oh, it's going to take such a long time to build two of these. Or I can build another construction yard here. And it's only going to take 20 days and it'll... Sp no, oh, crap. Destination here. Yeah. Uh, Algerian. I want another construction yard on this planet. We'll eventually build a planetary battery and probably another shield. Or maybe just two shields. Um, if we have two shields, they can't do any kind of bombardment. They have to sabotage it. Um, okay. How's everybody all right, doing here? So we've seen those messages. The Empire has bested us. You keep doing your thing, Mon Mothma. 
um, more that concerned about Leia. So she was not successful, but we do want her to continue. And I don't know what's going on with the fleets, but this guy can move over there. Now we do have more uh, construction yards available to build things. So on this planet, construction yards available. We do have shields, so that's great. So I am going to build another construction yard on this planet. This will be one of our bigger construction planets, I guess. Um, space station here can build things. You know, we might as well at some point start building this Corvette. It's going to take a long time, but that's fine. You can build infiltrators or troops. I'm going to start actually building some Alliance Army regiments because we'll need those to take over planets. Like this planet, for example, when we take it over, we're going to need a ton of troops to put down the rebellion that's going to occur there because they're not going to be happy uh, is what's going to happen. Um... So one of our ships that we sent here from back here, way back at the very beginning, just arrived. And not much else is going on here. We are building a planetary shield there. Should be ready very soon. Not much going on here. Not much going on here. Didn't we have another system that could build ships? Is that out? I don't remember where that was. Huh. Is it here? Nope. You, you are building that. You're building that. You're building more spies that will utilize. You couldn't build anything. Ah, right here. You know what? More X-wings. It's gonna take a long time, but that's fine. We've got time. Time is on our hands. Time is on our side. Yes, it is. Okay, so. More stuff. More stuff being built. Um, Gencore deployed. Okay, that's out here. So now we've got a planetary shield, which I'm very happy about because now uh, less chance of them just showing up and destroying our stuff. Um, we're going to build another construction yard on this planet. I like to have most planets have at least two construction yards, but the shield is no top priority. Problem. Page is at your command. All right, so he recruited somebody else. And Fleet 8 has arrived at Kashyyyk, which is somewhere. Oh, who knows? It's up here. Move over there. Okay. And this fleet arrived, right? Yes. Okay, good. Let's colonize that planet. Let's move us over here. And we can colonize that planet. Even though we moved all of our troops, once the fleet arrives, we can move troops directly onto the ship. And then, I don't know, it's weird, but it's, um, it'll work out. Uh, anyways, out here, um, we've got Han and Paige. Let's take a look at what he can do. Espionage, bad diplomacy. That's, unfortunately, there's only a few characters that are good with diplomacy. Um... We're going to move both Han and Paige oops, out to one of these planets. And there's very good reason why we do so, because as C-3PO told us in the very beginning, Yavit's going to get attacked. Uh, sooner or later, Yavin is going to get attacked by the Empire, and it's going to be a large force. So I'd rather not have any actual named characters here. If we can build up this whole system and defend it, great. If we can't, no huge loss. Um, so, uh, right now I'm not too worried about that. This is building. Good. Let's put it on slow. And let it run for a little bit. Most of the time I play on either slow or very slow. Uh, in the very beginning, my, you know, we can go up to medium and stuff, but generally it's just a bit too much otherwise. Um, the They've Empire arrived. has bested us. Now let's see here. I didn't check these guys. Their diplomacy rating. He's got a good diplomacy rating. So we're going to send him on a mission to... Oh, let's send him to that planet. And he's got a terrible diplomacy rating. So let's send him on a mission here and see what you can do. Espionage is about all you can do. You know what? Fine. If you spy on your own planets, you can catch Imperial plots. Um, not very worthwhile right now. Nuri. I don't even know where that is. Um, oh, it's got to be over 
one of these planets right there. Okay, that's fine. So this was just one Corvette. Okay, we'll keep the ship there for now. You know what? We'll move it to Yavin. It's okay. All right. How you guys doing? No effect. Keep trying. We did it. You were successful. Did you convert this planet? Ingal joins. Yes, she successfully converted this planet to our side, and they actually have ability to build ships, um, which is great. Uh, I want her to stay and keep convincing them to like us. I just want to build general support over here. That didn't go very well. All right. So Luke's over here somewhere. That old guy is over here somewhere converting that planet. Hopefully they'll be successful, eventually. Our fleets are still on the way. It's going to be a while. All right. Um, this fleet arrived there. Now what we can do is we can take a couple of troops and we can move them onto this fleet because that's a transport ship. And then we can populate that planet and maybe I'll move down here and populate one of these other ones eventually. I'm not too worried. Eventually we'll have this system all under our control. It takes a while to ramp up and build up uh, enough stuff where you can build things fairly quickly. So this game starts off pretty slow. Successful, good. So we got some more recon out here, like this planet. Terrible planet, but we know it exists. Um, fleet arrives at Yavin. Blah, blah, blah. Um, that didn't go very well. Keep trying. Okay, that's great. So he's working on this planet. Eventually, this planet is really good. We'll want to send. I'm here. Okay. Mission was successful. Personnel returning. Um, we successfully spied on our own planet. Now let's move you over here. We're gonna start spying up there very soon. I'm here. We did it. Okay, let's slow things down a bit, and let's figure out, we do have a ton of spies here that we can work with. So let's take two, move them to draw, no. Units can only be deployed to a system we control. That's a very good point. We're going to send them on a mission to draw, and we're going to send you guys on a mission over there, and you guys can go on a mission over here. Ooh. All right, now we're going to take pretty much the rest of these guys. Uh, good enough. And we're going to move all of these guys to this planet. Because we're then going to start spying on the crap that's going on here. Let's do another long-range probe. Out to that planet, see what's happening up there. Now I can use some of these guys to spy, but unfortunately or to do an infiltration, but unfortunately uh, I don't want to get him caught, so I don't want to risk him. What I'm going to do is send him on a mission on, you know what, yes, you, you can go it. recruit. I'm going to send him on um, espionage missions to our own planets so that we can find out if the Empire is doing any crap on our own planet. There are units assigned yeah, we to the can't. mission, which are not capable of acting on the assigned target. I didn't think so, I'm but I wanted no to try. I uh, can't do anything with infiltrators right now, as far as that goes, at least. So these guys are just stuck there for a little bit. But we are going to spy on our own planets there. We're going to send these guys mission here. Yes, I do want you to do ship design research. Mission diplomacy, nope. Do espionage. Uh, although this planet we know actually just joined us, so probably not a lot of espionage going on. Um, that's fine. We do have a ton of infiltrators, so what I want to do... Boom. There are units assigned to the mission, no. which are not capable there we go. of acting on the assigned I want to move target. all those I'm infiltrators the could be formed. up there, and probably these three as well. And we're going to just go infiltrator crazy up here once these guys all arrive our goal has been achieved good job on Mothma good job on building spies 
I mean, good, I say good job, but they haven't joined us yet, so, you know, they're not doing as good of a job as I'd like. All right. Okay, a bunch of stuff just got built. Jeez. Okay. Another construction yard there. Okay, good. More construction yards. That's great. Another X-Wing. And fleets arrived different places. Um, so I think our fleet has arrived, or our troops have arrived here at some point or another. We can move those guys there. Move over down here for now. So we have three construction yards. Now, we can set this as a destination. We can build, and before it was going to take 40 days to build a shipyard. That's 28 days. So the extra construction yards really help, or instead of 80 days to build two, 56 days. Um, I do want to build like four, but I also want to build um, planetary defense. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build one shipyard, then we'll build a planetary defense there, then we'll build the other shipyards. Uh, that I think will work. Okay. Now, the construction yard here is idle. And we do have one planetary shield. I think what we want to do is build something like either another planetary shield or a planetary battery. I'm going to build a battery. Um, I don't know kind of which one is necessarily better in the long run. So, I'm just going to do pick one and go with it. I do want to build planetary shields for all these planets afterwards. But the battery is only going to take 12 days, luckily, so that's great. Um, I think our fleets are arriving. We can start combining them. Once these two arrive, and we'll combine those, and these guys. We can kind of combine them all into one big thing and then just send everything at this planet. That should be good. All right. You guys are building another X-Wing. Great. And another construction yard. You can't do anything. You probably can't do much. And then here we were doing pretty well. We are building this one troop. Troop trooper. Koopa trooper. Trooper pooper. Uh, and this is going to be a while. Okay. No effect. Terrible. More spies, great. All right, uh, more spies. We need to keep this up. Leia's doing really well. Leia and Mon Mothma are our two best diplomats. Um, so this planet, oops. Okay, it's still building more troops. Uh, whoa, 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 slow down. Which planet joined? Two planets joined. Um, one of these, this planet just joined. I guess Luke convinced them, and we showed them. Keep, keep at it. Our goal has been achieved. We did it. All right. So this planet joined. Mom Mothma did her thing. Good. All right. Shipyard idle on Ungal. Um, we will build. something. Unfortunately, until we get a lot more shipyards, build a Y-Wing. Um, until we get a lot more shipyards, it's going to be a long time uh, for us to um, be able to build ships relatively quickly. And that's why I'm not building any ships, because I'd rather build small stuff now and then build the larger stuff when we can do it much faster. Uh, but... That's where we're at. Okay, it's going to be a while until that's done. I do need to send a diplomat here because these guys are like... They're, they're not into us. Um, <laughs> basically is what's happening there. Once Leia's done with this planet, I'll probably send her to Danab to try to convince them to like us a bit more. That was just great. It's fine. Alright, their espionage mission was a success. That's done. Construction yard there is idle. 
and we have a fleet that arrived somewhere. I don't know where that is. Uh, good enough. Okay, so now that we have shields and planetary defense, we can focus on these planets. Uh, I think this planet needs a planetary defense, first and foremost. And then we can build more shipyards there. Good. And I'll probably need to send at least one troop there. Troop, trooper, troopers. Boom. Oh shit. We just lost that planet. Crap. That was just... Yep. Um, declares divided loyalties. Yep. Yep. Uh, so we just lost both of these planets, which is really and this planet, which is really shitty. Uh. Okay, we're gonna have to work, and we might lose this planet. Crap. This is really bad. Uh, the empire has been working hard on basically convincing all these guys to uh, join, abandon us and join these guys. Um, we will, we need to send more people here. I might have to send Mon Mothma there, actually. Um, it might be worthwhile. Crap. That's bad. That is very bad. Well, this might be a good time, actually. A nice cliffhanger to end this episode. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like, hit subscribe, and we'll see what happens next time. Later!